This is Cab Class with Gary, Mark and Sean. And we're asking, are you a classy cabbie or a dirty old dog? If you think you're a classy cabbie, maybe you have a story to tell and you don't mind us digging out your past, then get in touch by emailing us at newcabclass at gmail.com. Gotta love it. That's Cab Class with Gary, Mark and Sean. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cab Class, the brand new podcast for the taxi trade. In this show we speak to your favourite taxi drivers and find out a bit about their life and also if they're classy cabbies or dirty dogs. Right, thank you everyone for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the London Taxi Radio YouTube channel. Don't forget also you can find us on Twitter at Cab Class and also on any of your podcast providers. Just look it up under London Taxi Radio. you find us there, plus all, other sh- uh, all the other stuff that Sean does. It's all there. Anyway, I'm Gary, one of your hosts. Next to me is my old mucker, Chelsea Mark. How are you, mate? I'm well, mate. How are you? Yeah, how are you? We're out of our compass. We're at, South, we're at a new destination oh, this today. Is, no, this is proper <laughs> cab driver belt, isn't it? We're here. This is, we're I'm just past the house with three cabs outside. They've got to feed a rank to get onto their drive. <laughs> what, what an area. This we're we're in Oldchurch and there was a green up. There's, a green, <laughs> there's so many black cabs, unbelievable. This is know, older. They say in London you're never more than, is it six feet from a rat? It's got to be the same in Oldchurch for a cab. It's got to be, isn't it? This is, this is what I call this like council estate millionaire territory. <laughs> yeah, Everyone who sold their council drum in the 90s moved out here. Yeah, that's exactly bought, right. Bought a nice plot of land. Yeah, uh-huh. this is this is a cab driver belt. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. Can you hear that lady in there? Can you hear the lady? Uh-huh. Like? Uh-huh. We've got a lady cabbie uh-huh. today. Uh-huh. Oh, very oh, yeah, not, that not talking sure. about me, are you? Uh-huh. No, no, we're <laughs> talking about not who wants to be a lady, a proper lady. Right. Hello, Sean, how are you, mate? All right, how you doing? I'm very drawn to this place. I mean, this looks like RuPaul's Drag Race. I've <laughs> yeah. done it. It does. You've got... Glittery frocks. Well, we're in the our blue ones, lovely. I just tell you, give paint a bit of a picture. Well, we're in our guest today's um, photography studio, which we'll touch on a bit later. But for now, Sean, right? So, TFL have appealed the appeal. What's yeah, I, I, I think people are losing the plot a little bit. I don't think we should get. I don't think we should run away with ourselves. I mean, what they've done, they have won the chance of an appeal, but now they've got to get it past the gatekeeper to get an appeal. So there's that obstacle. And then they've got to appeal. And I think we're a bit unrealistic to think that they won't appeal. Uh, but I still think the challenges facing TfL are insurmountable. I think they're too great. I mean, they can't pretend that they pay due regard to the public sector equality duty. By default, uh, they put in these measures and use COVID to do it. They rush them through. They didn't put in the proper scrutinising processes. So I absolutely think the challenges facing them are too great. But we'll have to wait and see. That's where we're at. But I've got to give an apology to Lewis. I've got to apologise to him big time. <laughs> I'm always tapping away when I'm on Twitter, you know, I'm tapping yeah. away, tapping away, and I accidentally unfollowed him. And a second later, I got a message from him saying that I'd unfollowed him. What, and and that he was really upset. He was really upset. Lewis, think, Lewis is a guest we had a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, oh, he's a, he's a yeah. friend of the show. We love right. Lewis. Um, and uh, uh, I think that's why he said he loved me as well, openly, <laughs> on Twitter. Openly, yeah. And I had to say I was feeling it. <laughs> the love, that is. But <laughs> don't forget, Sean, tell the t- you've been hacked. You was hacked. Before, I was right? hacked big time. That's mad. Big yeah. time. I was messaging everybody that I'd got a new number. And so anybody that called my number was calling Delhi on a premium rate. <laughs> One of my mates did say in the room, he said, uh, uh, Sean Paul Day never returns your call and now he's messaging everybody. Oh no. <laughs> you know I, mean? I think that's tell quite, everybody. I think that's quite, it's quite an honour to be hacked, you know, to have a stalker or to be hacked. You're like, you're sort of made yet. Well, I didn't level. see it that way. No? Uh, well, there's one or two people, there's about five people got hacked over the weekend. I, I will say this, just as a precaution, do a, uh, a double uh, verification check on your WhatsApp. You can go into the settings, yeah. you can give uh, another code that you have to put in. So if they are able to get into it, they will have to put in a second code before they can access your WhatsApp. So it's worth doing and you put in your e- an email address as well that they will contact you if they think there's any untoward behaviour going on. Do it because I was hacked, about five other people was hacked and now yeah. we're all, you know, having holidays in <laughs> Goa. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And you upset Lewis, what were you then? Lewis, yeah, I don't want to, no, I can't upset Lewis, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling the love, Lewis. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. back on the show, I'll make it up to you. Have we got a guest this week? Yeah, Gary? and you might have 
might have just heard her in the background. Um, I'd like to, I'm very pleased to introduce, put your hands together for Donna Ground, formerly known as Donna Ewing. Hello Donna, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for having Thanks you. for inviting me. No, no, thank you for having us. That's it's, all right. We were really chuffed when you, uh, our first, when you said you were the first lady. Oh, wow, there, well, I don't know about that. I'm a, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a lady in, you know, but not, yeah, the but I am. Lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure. The thank reason you. We, uh, we asked you, Don, is you've got such an in interesting backstory. Uh, can you go back to where it all started? So you grew up in Bethnal Green? Yeah, I grew up in Bethnal Green, um, as they call the good old days, you know. Um, no front door, knew the no, craze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knew the craze, no front door, you know, a cup of sugar and Made all that. Spanish. and a, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, I went to Morpa School, which is... just off of Roman Road um, and yeah. Right, yeah, and that's then, it. Yeah. So what, how old were you and was it your first job when you first got into modelling? Um, I, I went to the London College of Fashion for fashion modelling but a few things grew. Yeah. Right. yeah so uh, yeah, yeah. So I got a bit older and whatever, you know. And what age are we talking? Here? <laughs> I'm 17. Yeah. So I left. Um, I left Malpeth and then I went to the London College of Fashion. Had a fashion in what idea? Modeling. What would you, you want to get into? I don't you? know. Do you know no. what? I left school and I, I didn't know what I wanted to do, to be honest. And um, if I had the qualifications, I, I would love to have been a vet or a, you know, something along them lines. But so, didn't we? we all leave school at yeah, 16, expected to know yeah, what we want to do I know, with the rest of our I know, I know, I know. To be honest, I mean, cab drive, I still would like to do so. I, I still don't know yeah. what I want to do. I'm yeah. 51, nearly. Anyway, so I went to London College of Fashion, and, um, and then that was like a year's course. Uh, I left there, and then I was just doing bits and pieces, and a friend of mine had a restaurant down in the city, down Bow Lane. I used to work in there for a bit doing the restaurants and that and used to work in local pubs and, and, and whatever. And yeah, just bits and pieces and to see me by. And um, Well, people said when I was that age, you know, you should do modelling, blah, blah, blah. And then as I say, a few things grew and I couldn't be a fashion model. Um, and not the right shape. Not the shape right and, shape, yeah. yes. So I wasn't the right shape, I was a pretty shapely and um, so somebody said, you know, try the page free type. So um, I joined an agency and sort of went from there really, but my dad was horrified. Yeah, that's something I was going to ask you, yeah. so once you start, so you've got into, they put you forward for page free, is that how it works? Um, yeah, I've done a few little bits and pieces with one agency that wasn't so great. And then I went out onto a better agency, um, and yeah, and then like, and they put me forward for page three, and like, obviously put me forward for lots of things like, and some of my underwear catalogues and calendars and and stuff so like what that. Was, uh, what was the word when you got home? What, what did your dad say? Oh wow! Then? Well, when he sort of see some pictures that weren't in page three, he was what sort mortified. Of were you talking? Well, sort of glamour pictures, but you know, yeah. some maybe whatever but anyway yeah. so yeah so he was because he's thought oh she's not going to get anywhere you know like they've got these photographers taking pictures blah 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 yeah, worried about his daughter wasn't worried about it. Yeah. worried about me yeah of course but then of course when was I was a secret for a while did you tell him what you was doing um uh, it wasn't a secret no no um but I, I yeah because I hadn't been in anything it wasn't like something that I would sort of go home to tell him or, or yeah. whatever you know you I mean, I think like, going, Dad, Dad, yeah yeah this. yeah yeah exactly exactly it was just a few bits and bobs you know for like amateur photographers and they just take pictures teens, for my yeah. what are we looking at age wise well i started when i was about 17 and then 18 you can actually do, do you think that was too young uh yeah yeah honestly i mean there was well, certain it, photos yeah, that yeah. like that's a that's a sad story where I got basically manipulated when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Can't see nothing, can't see this, can't see that, blah, blah, blah. You was taking advantage Ta of Taking advantage of as a 17 year old. And there was literally one picture of me when I was crying. Um, so that's very sad, yeah, yeah. right? When I think of a 17 year old girl, I don't it's think a of a baby. woman. No. I think of a kid. I know. 
Did you have an agent then? I mean, well, you no, this to, was who a, could you lean on to this say was this This was the little right. agency that I was with that I just thought, oh, you know, you've joined an agency. You don't know at the time what they're like. You know, oh, she's, it's an agency. You know, I'll do these photos and they'd show me pictures of like page three girls that was in these, you know, nude but not really seeing a lot. Yeah. Right? They, they'll be showed abroad and whatever. I mean, you won't see them. Right, blah, blah, blah. But look, all these page three girls do it, right? So I'm like, right. So they took the. So um, I was Fulham. I remember it's Fulham Palace Road. I was where I went, and um, had these pictures done. There was like three people there: the photographer, the makeup artist, and the. And like, what had you been told this was for? Um, I was told it was for like something like Playboy, but abroad. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't told that it was for anything. Uh, it was a classy. Yeah men's magazine yeah. right um and basically um he, he said yeah you know as i say show me all these pictures of other girls that i was in awe of you know uh, it's only be sold there blah 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 you know blah, blah. so anyway then i joined um an, a big better agency bigger agency much better they dealt with all the page three and all that so i've done these photos which obviously i've kind of forgotten about they was for abroad blah 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 so we um so this bigger agency got me onto page three in the and sun, yeah. in the sun and, and when, the when was this done 80s yeah so 88 i think i so first was this was what would you say this was like the prime time for for page yeah, three this yeah, is when you had yeah. the real big sort of oh, stars yeah, come in yeah, out, yeah. which you was one of really yeah i know i mean when i look back now i'm like you know people put my stuff on youtube like on my tv stuff and i'm like Wow, you know, yeah. Yeah. I look at it now and I think, bloody hell, well, I didn't realise at people the time. Like, so who are we talking, Linda Lusardi? She was a little bit before me, bit before. so we had but Maria still Whitaker. still big names today. Yeah, Maria Whitaker and um, Kathy Lloyd. Sam Fox was a little bit before me, Linda Lusardi, Kathy Lloyd. Kathy Lloyd was more my sort of era, yeah. Maria Whitaker, um, Dana Goodman. Uh, it's not unusual though, is it, for 17-year-olds to do glamour modelling? No, but really, you shouldn't do it until you're 18. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got to have a, you got to have um, a license, a signature from your mum and dad. Now that's what I'm getting on to, right? So anyway, so then I was in the page three and all that, you know, all oh wow, and couldn't believe it. I remember I was in my bar at the time with the agent, and um, and I looked at this, and I was in page three, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, bloody hell, yeah. God, I'm in page three, and Happy. I was thinking, oh yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Did anyone recognise me now, you know? <laughs> and all that. And um, and anyway, as it goes on, we're get, I'm getting more sort of work and stuff. And then um, this photographer, brilliant photographer, English photographer, Byron Newman. And he works a lot for American Playboy, German Playboy and everything, you know. So I got to meet him and he said, Donna, you'd be great as a centrefold. He said, you'd be amazing. Um, have you done any work before? You know, obviously, um, st you know, like glamour stuff, yeah, you know, yeah. not topless, but if you, you know. Full nudes. Full nudes yeah. and all that. And I said, no, no, you know. And then, obviously, I, and then he sort of went, if you don't, because I will put you forward for American Centrefold and, you know, you will be quite famous and you'll get 50 grand for wow. it. So I was like, wow. Anyway, so then, obviously, I've had to tell him I've done these photos and... That These ones it. are I lost, surface, yeah. Ah. But yeah. as you got more famous, as they come out. As I got more famous, they come out, right? So, like, so literally, I lost fifty grand from that for being a play centrefold, which I, I don't know how many girls in England have been centrefold no, in America, no. but there's not that many. Oh, Could have ten. been a few, uh, haven't yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, so, you know, uh, so, <laughs> uh, so what I was saying is, yeah. So of course, I've become famous, page free. Now, these photos have come out, right, that were only supposed to be for thingy. You couldn't hardly see anything yeah. for abroad, right, that I thought I signed a form yeah. for, um, for abroad only. But, so, yeah, so that sort of knocked the 50 grand on the head, right? And um, so now all these photos have come out everywhere. Where um, are they being published? Oh, club, penthouse and all that, right? So, all so you see, listen, sort of top, top uh, shelf mates. Yes, yeah. Yeah. awful. Right, so the the um the form I can't bloody even remember the names of the forms now, but you used to have to sign a model release form. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Now, when I had them photos done, I was, um, when he, he actually signed the model release form for when I, I would have been 18, I was 17. All right, it, I think it might have been in the March, but I was still 17 when he took them photos. He signed the model release form for July. My birthday's in June. Yeah. So I would have been 18, right? But I, I was in Turkey when he signed that model release form on that date, and I could prove it yeah. that I was there. I went to a solicitor and said, like, you know, like, and he said, well, really, um, obviously I, I'd lost that. He said, but for you to do it, he said, it's, it's not really going to, it's going to cost you thousands and thousands of pounds. Yeah, you're going to have to get someone to write I'm going to have to get somebody to write. And really, I know you've obviously lost the centrefold thing, but... But they still haunt me now because as much as people probably don't believe, right? Probably much as people don't believe. You sit with a camera and you think you're not seeing anything. They All they need to do is bend down or get up and you can see the lot. Got it, yeah. Yeah. Right? And, and you don't realise they're shooting. And I didn't realise. Yeah. You were duped, that was not, you? you were duped. Yeah. I mean, you? I'm not saying that I didn't do them after that. No, I did, no. but it was under my no, no, right. discretion yeah. and it was, I knew what I was doing. The right age. These ones, one of them, you could see me crying. Mm. And they, these photos still surface now and people go, oh, because they think they don't know what happened. And it, it kind of haunts me yeah. because, you know, that's not what I want. You know, I mean, as I say, I've done, I've done Playboy half done nudes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But... That's, that's a bit different. I think we all get where you're coming you know, from. At that time, was you still living back in Bethnal Green? Yeah, yeah, so I was you, still... You I, was walking around knowing people had seen these yeah, pictures. Yeah, 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 it yeah. It yeah. yeah, 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 it was, it was. I mean, not a lot of people said about them once because they might not have wanted to say that they've seen them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That bought it, but... You know, but um, there was no internet then, was there? So no, you would, so it would have been, no, would no, have been there wasn't, to, there wasn't, yeah. So obviously, you know, not as far as I'm concerned, only a few people bought it and they never said anything to me. Okay, so it wasn't thrown in your face, too no, much. no, it wasn't, it wasn't. But there was, you know, that was the real downfall, and it's just, you know, and there's people still out there now taking advantage, you know, of um, of young girls, of young girls, yeah, absolutely, you know, and it's, it's. Well, we're, we'll, anyway. we'll touch on a bit on what advice you'd yeah, give to these yeah, young yeah, girls. Yeah. But moving forward now, so you're regularly doing page three. You're earning good money. Is it, um, what, what's the lifestyle now? Right. So I, and this, you know, I, I should I should want to be on a pink cloud and blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't it wasn't like that. Was the glitz and glamour a smoke the screen? The glitz and glamour smoke screen. Yeah. I was going to Stringfellas, coming home in a cab um, quite often quite often and going back to my council flat yeah. and literally just about having enough money Sitting in down my pocket. Having spaghetti on toast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, did, or did, going did down my limb road. Would it be a contract with the sun or the, or the, or the mirror or was you paid every time you no, appeared? No, I was paid every time I appeared. Yeah. So literally, you'll probably change drop my drop. I was paid £80 pounds for page three. No way. Nothing. Yeah. No way. Right, but that was two hours work. So that would be down in Clarkerwell, Baldwin Gardens, photographer Beverly Goodway. So we'd go two hours work, but we'd have to do our own makeup, supply our own bits and pieces. Not Obviously not a lot. Um, but, you know, and then the agency would take 20% commission. And then obviously you had to pay ca- tax as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So probably 70 quid. And you're not going right? to be appearing, what, once a month in the, in the paper? Yeah, once a month. So you do that in the start. And then, you know, so... But that they allowed like, you to work for other yeah, papers. Yeah, yeah. So we like would that. work. Yeah. So you'd you'd work the star, uh, the mirror at the time, um, and bits and pieces, and then I would do Anne Summers, um, underwear, and yeah. and I'd get jobs abroad. You know, like yeah, the the shells and doing calendar work and stuff yeah. like that. You go away for a week and earn like fifteen hundred quid. Oh, I okay. mean, and we're talking like thirty years ago, so that was quite a lot of yeah. money. But I wouldn't work every day. Yeah. Right, so I might work once a week, or and then I might get a job to, you know, a calendar job, say a grand or whatever, but then I wouldn't get a job for another week. So it wasn't all I mean, the time. Is, is it a bit like, you know, like Vogue does this blanket payment of like a hundred pound, but the prestige yes. of modeling for Vogue yeah, is a platform is. Yeah. to springboard from. Is it a bit like that? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. But I mean, when you say it's working two hours, yeah, it is, it is, because then people see you, because then I was good getting known yeah, yeah. in Germany and then I've done German Playboy and then I you know I've done like god they even asked me to do a song 
They, <laughs> they asked me to sing and I told them I can't sing. Yeah. Well, Sam Fox can't sing, oh, but she did all right. No, honestly, yeah, yeah. I'm worse than that. <laughs> I'm more Chaz and Dave, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, so shall I speak about that? My, my song? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe so, we can play it. so, oh my God. You know, right, so anyway. In German? Um, no, it was in English. In German. They said to me, right, no, I can't, I know. They said to me, right, uh, so, so I was quite well known in Germany. So this company said, look, you know, uh, we'd like you to sing. I said, I can't sing. I told me agency, I cannot sing, right? I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to go there. Yeah. No, yeah, it's they, not saying you're going to fake, is it? No, they no. can do wonders, right, with your voice. <laughs> Off I go to Germany. Dusseldorf was the main part that I used to go for rent now. And they, want, they wanted me to sing one of the worst songs. There was a house in New Orleans. Brilliant. Right? Yeah, great. <laughs> lovely song. So you try and bloody sing it. Sing it. In New Orleans. Oh, my God. <laughs> there is a house in... It was oh, like, you're not that you're bad. You can't <laughs> sing. Oh, no, pay off. <laughs> God, it was terrible. And Can I got in the, the studio... <laughs> I've got in the shoes. Do you know what? I'll give a week's wages to hear that. Honestly, no, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, but at the minute you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. what, um, what, so what was the... Why is that a <coughs> you, This beautiful lady, glamour model. Why they want to hear you sing? They just well, want anything they can. They just do. wanted, yeah, me to do a song and blah, blah, blah. I don't know, you know, and then... Would you say but that this is... But that is really not, the, not, not a no. very good song to sing, is no, it? No, you know? no, no, not, not with your voice. No, yeah. oh, get out of it. <laughs> Would you say this is the height of your career now, do you think? Is this when you really Yeah, peaked? yeah, yeah. What sort of age are we talking? Um, 20, 19, it's 20. It's very young. Yeah, it is, I know, I know. When I, when I left school, I... I started working a print at the Daily Mirror and you're t- oh, that right. time and right. you used to have photos taken on the, yeah, on the yeah, third yeah. floor there and, it's, yeah, and you, yeah, were like, yeah. you were like like watching film stars come in I was a young lad yeah, you yeah, coming yeah, in yeah. so I had met oh, you before wait a minute how old are you you're not uh, a young uh, you was a young lad yeah yeah, I was there <laughs> I'm 52. At one oh, time. so I'm. You no, so you were coming you. in. You're like. Right, and right. And so I had yeah, met you yeah. before. You wouldn't oh, have met right. me. I was in the wardrobe. All oh, right. In the in the in the in the <laughs> but, yeah. but, but, but yeah. we have not. A lot, right. lot of pleasuring oh, right. going on okay. in the wardrobe. Oh, there. I'm sure. Can you remember sure. the? Can you remember the? Uh, yeah, going up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's where we were. And and you used you girls would come in. I do. And we were like it was mental. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet being a young boy. Yeah, yeah. We just thought, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All, it, is, it just happened to want to be near that yeah. office. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. want a cup of tea? Yeah, we just, yeah, just yeah. And, and, then, the and then go into the wardrobe. Oh, yes, in the wardrobe. Oh. wardrobe. <laughs> wardrobe <is paid. laughs> Did you know your appeal, though? Did you know what you had? Um, No, not until I look back now. But yeah. was you recognisable right? in the street? As I well? was, yeah, yeah, I was. Which I didn't like because, as you can see, I am not a glamorous type. I can turn it on if I want to. If I want to. Yeah. But half the time, I'm just me and, you know, I, to be honest, I must admit, when I first started, obviously I used to see all these page three girls, and my um, idea of a, of a glamour model page three girl was they'd be in, like, boob tubes, mini dress, you know, walking along in a pair of white high heels, yeah. and makeup, and, like, you know, and all that. But actually, when I first went up to Beverly Goodway in page three, and this was in Baldwin Gardens, down off a grazing road if you should you should all know that um got so, be wardrobe, yeah 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 <laughs> so we um we when i went up there i see this girl and her name was corinne muscle page three girl and i used to think she was beautiful which she is but she come out in a biker jacket and a pair of jeans and i was like that was my first sort of time of going up to see beverly and i was like oh bloody hell god she don't look very glamorous yeah do you know what I mean? But, you know, it, you, you can't just do obviously, it all the time. No, no. Obviously, yeah. you're travelling on the tube or whatever you were doing, you know. So, so anyway, so no, what we were saying is, I, I didn't realise, to be honest. And I've been looking at, back at pictures lately and just think, bloody hell. Yeah. God, I was, but in them days, you, you know, know the, sun, the sun used to print touching four million copies it's mm. like four million now newspapers you know people get yeah, their God, media you don't elsewhere even. but yeah. that's a phenomenal amount of people yeah that, yeah that, yeah you know it yeah. really is yeah so so obviously i would um get recognized sometimes people would sort of look at me if i know you from yeah. somewhere yeah it's like in the cab that's afterwards yeah 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 we're yeah, yeah. Saturn, yeah. yeah so anyway so yes yeah, so i'll be going caribbean seychelles 
I'll be going like south of France, Portugal. Oh my God, not another trip to Portugal. Gold or Bennett, you know, I ring up my agent. Oh yes, Beverly's booked you for Portugal. Oh, not another one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, now, I I'm like, oh my God, bloody hell. So you, it's a bit like being a top footballer. You're not quite realising what you're, yeah, how good you are. Yeah. You just because you don't know nothing. You're riding along no, with it. No, yeah. Or you don't always appreciate it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, you don't. You don't appreciate, you know, you don't in hindsight and all that. When did the, the films and TV come, come about? Uh, that came a bit later. I met um, Harry Enfield. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've done a thing called Gone to the Dogs and funnily enough because my my surname is Ground and um, this writer and he always used to like me and his surname's Ground with an S on the end right so he ripped me into the script and there was um, Jeff Hurst uh, 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 there was a few footballers there and I had to say how comes Jeff Hurst scored two goals and you didn't score any Right. To Bobby Moore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was a, and that's what he, he said, that's what you call a cliffhanger, darling, or something like that. Yeah. And then I met Harry Enfield because he was in it. And then it went on from there. And then he, he ripped me into some of his scripts, Harry Enfield. Yeah, is that through getting to know him personally? And he was like, oh, I'd like you to come back to Yeah, because we stuff. had a laugh. Yeah, yeah, I used to really and get Paul on with White Harry. As well. Yeah, it was just Harry at the time. Oh, okay. It wasn't the duo then. Yeah. Um, and I just met Harry and we really got on well, you know, he was a lovely bloke. And um, and then he sort of got me to do a few of his little scripts, you know, a few of his little parts. And then I met Paul. So he, they, you know, so it sort of worked out like that. And then I'd done the Fast Show, I don't know if you yeah, know, yeah, that yeah, was I brilliant. Um, so we done that and then I'd done a few other little bits on TV, like How and Pace and Ben Elton and, you know, all the See, little comedy sketches. if it sketches. had been a few years before, it would have been like the Benny Hill girls, wouldn't it? Yeah, Charlie Drake's yeah, girls, yeah. people like that, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah, like that. So it was, you know, it's like kind of sort of rolled aboard from there and then I'd done a few other little bits and pieces and, and then, shall we go on to that? And then I was at Hammersmith Apollo appearing live. Oh, right. Yeah. While was I, that, the fast show. Yeah, while I was doing the knowledge. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So my career was kind of ending, and I wasn't a Shakespeare actress, and I wasn't Barbara Windsor, and you know, and I'm like, ah, oh, what do I do now? Do you know, I left school and I didn't study, and um, like a few of us. So then I done my page three, and then it was a TV, and then I was thinking, what am I going to do? And then my dad is a black cab driver, yeah. so. I'm like, oh, what do I do? And trying to think of, you know, I love photography, but, you know, that was like, if I'd done a course, you had to be at the school all the time and, and all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd do the knowledge. What sort of age are you now, though? I was 30. Okay. No, 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 no. I was younger than that. Late I was 27. 20s, yeah. Oh, OK. Because I've done, I've got, got out when I was 30, uh, the millennium. And what two things do you think got you through the knowledge? off you. <laughs> Don't you start. I tell you what, the amount of jib I had from blooming knowledge boys saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, do, you know what I mean." We well, got no a cab way. driver, a friend of ours, who was on the show. He's a policeman, and he did the knowledge in eight days. Oh, <laughs> Could you beat shut that? up! Yeah. No, I can't beat that. Yeah, to prove himself. No, well, I well, well, tell you what. I do, well, that's probably why it took me so long because I kept going up there proving myself. <laughs> How long yeah. did you say you'd done? Took me three years and oh, three months. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Really good. They but wanted the, to see more of you, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So how, long, how long have you been a cab driver? 20, 21 years. Oh, right. Similar, similar to us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you find the knowledge? Mr. Olm and all that. How you did I find? Olm, yeah, yeah, first appearance. How did that? Right. So, anyway, so I was doing the far show. There's a story there. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. Hammersmith Apollo. Live. That right. Live. Five weeks. On me pizza delivery bike, weren't I? Driving, <laughs> doing me sure, flipping yeah, runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then appearing live on the far show. And so I'm driving around. I'm, I remember doing the one after an appearance there um, at the far show. Right, I thought, right, I've got to do, I've got to do this run and that'll take no, me home. Yeah, she was doing that. So in... But it was the one in Erkenwald Street. Was it Acton? And it was yeah, like 11 Acton o'clock of the night. Yeah. And I'm like, what am I doing? So you just finished the show. I've just finished and now you're the show and I'm off on my little pizza that's bike, amazing, right? Because no, my air dryer had to fast the bloody engine and my, <laughs> my bike. <laughs> yeah. Because I, although, as I say, people thought I earned a lot, I didn't. Yeah. So I had a little £300 bike that I didn't These even were need Honda to do. C90s, it was just one yeah, I didn't yeah, even yeah. need to 
do a bite test. Yeah, yeah, It was yeah. just a full and go. You know, like How unreal like is that? that? You come off a stage right. at the Hammersmith Apollo well, and then you yeah. jump on your C90 to do to a To do run. a run, yeah. That's amazing. I, I think I've done three runs that night. Huh. So I would be doing my runs as well and then going to a pier and then like getting there an hour early to call over and then appearing on the stage, yeah, everyone clapping me. And then people waiting at the door, I've got my crash helmet on and all that, and I, you know, to get autographs, and they just think I'm a pizza man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They didn't realise it was me, you know, going That's to do me runs. So that. that was, yeah. So, it's you know. a really interesting time in your life, that. Yeah, yeah. So it was like from one extreme to another. Did that show just do the five weeks at Hammersmith, or did it do the Yeah, no, it did. It just done, I think they went travelling, but I didn't, I didn't go. I think that was a year later. But that was, um, yeah, that was, who else was it? Bit Reese and Bob Mortimer, they'd done a show after the far show. So it was a far show and then and then that like continued yeah. on to that show as well. So yeah, it was amazing, you know, the amount of, yeah. Was that was a well brilliant. played job? Was that along the lines of a not, page Not three? great, no, no. I think we, oh, I can't even remember. That no, it was wasn't like great, 20 was odd years ago. No. So you, you passed remember. that around 2000? Yeah, it was, it was in October 2000. Not, yeah, two thousand October two thousand. I part. It's wonder we didn't cross paths. I passed out. I think it was September two thousand. Yeah, right. two thousand. I bloody lost my yeah, old yeah, badge, yeah. you know. So I'm a bit. I'm still on the sixes, but I'm. Yeah, I, I, I lost can't my remember badge. what Heartbreaking I was. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Losing your badge. Oh yeah. Are yeah, you a formally like known as? Uh, hey? yeah. Have you got one in front Oh, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. I know. Do you know what I was going to write? Formerly known as 007 or something yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, it was, it's just, uh, yeah. Formerly known as Free. Yeah, did, yeah, did yeah. you just say you had all on your first, first appearance? First appearance. Oh, that's Yeah, weird. yeah, that was. I mean, obviously, being a woman, I felt like I had to prove myself. Being what I'd done as well. And I went up the knowledge school. Um, so I started all my runs and then I was sort of calling over with a few people in Camden, just in a calf that I met, like, and I was just calling over with them. Um, boy, all, they was all boys. And then another girl that I met, we was calling over. But then I went to a knowledge school, which was KPMs. And um, yeah, calling over and all that. Yeah, so my first appearance was um, Mr. Holmes. Did he slaughter you? Yeah. <laughs> but I was surprised how well I'd done. Yeah. To yeah. be honest, I got you took confidence from it. Yeah, yeah. because uh, although I didn't run the runs, I knew the points, and I think he was yeah. quite surprised. But I didn't know the points in that order. So anyway, as we know, we're sitting there and we feel like we're we're in a cattle, yeah. you know, yeah. going to slaughter, don't well, you? How did that feel then, right? Your the nerve wracking of being on stage. Where does the knowledge rank? Oh, in that? a lot, that's a lot. Question. Yeah. What yeah, worse? A good question. Yeah, worse. yeah, a lot worse. Yeah, oh, because when you're appearing even like the funny thing is when i'm when i was topless i was very confident and yeah. it wasn't me it was your job it was yeah. my job and it wasn't me and i bought yeah. my confidence but sitting there literally yeah, like knowing of, and i knew i was going to get mr Rome. do you know what i mean i probably bought it on myself it's yeah. probably the antenna saying <laughs> yeah. mr Rome, mr Rome, and i bought it on myself but yeah a lot it's a, it's completely different because when I was doing my modelling, I was a different person. I wasn't even in the zone of yeah, yeah. thinking what I, who I was. It's you know also what I something mean? you understood, whereas yeah. there's an element of not knowing what's going to happen That's right, yeah. Yeah. in an appearance, isn't it? Yeah, so he's, he's, so we were sitting there, and I ain't got my mini skirt on, and I ain't got my <laughs> poop tube on. I've got my pin tri striped trouser suit That's on, right? And my shirt done right up so people didn't think, you know, oh yeah, yeah what was she yeah. up to? Did you consciously think like that? Yeah, Seriously? I did, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Because people were going to think like, yeah, you know, yeah, people were going to think, yeah, yeah, you got your points because of that, but obviously he didn't give me my points, but... That's why I took three and a half years. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, um, so yeah, sitting there, obviously, as you know, sitting there looking outside the blooming Penton Street and all that sweating and his miss ground. Okay, follow me. As he does, you know, and it's walk bloody does, the that, long that walk is yeah, yeah, and it's just like, oh. okay then, hand me a card, close the door, sit down in that order, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you now. And then you look at the parrot, didn't you? And you think, what way is he facing? <laughs> yeah. And it's then, ah, oh, it was just Jerry. Yeah, did, did the was the parrot out or in? Was in, it? In it was in. That's it good news, in. isn't it? I don't know. 
I, yeah, I think it was. I but it was, a, it was a me. wise tell, wasn't it, about the yeah. parrot? And I think he played on it, didn't Yeah, he? yeah, I don't know. I yeah. mean, I, to, I did notice it, but I didn't notice what direction it was looking in. Yeah. You know, you it could have been game, doing bloody cartwheels. No, no, not a full parrot. Doing it's it's got got parrot. Oh, right, it, yeah, yeah. If he faced it outside. I have actually met Mr. Warren, but he was well before my time. Yeah. He was legendary. He was scary, and he just played on it. He was unbelievable. He was, yeah. But he asked me some points and like it but it was only because because i used to do a market stall down roman road as well um so that was what but he asked me a point and i used to do greenwich market oh wow. so he's asked me dill's gateway um to straightmouth and i knew them points and i was like because i used to park in straightmouth and i remember dill's gateway and then when he knew i'd done that he just like slaughtered me when i done that run he literally just so you weren't scoring that day. No, I weren't no. scoring that day. And then he asked me St James's, um, which is a little, which was a little road off of Deptford Eye Street, um, which was a tiny road to God knows where. I can't even remember. And then when he went St James's, and I couldn't remember it, I was like, oh, I don't know. He went, okay then, um, St James's Gardens. I saw it like that. I can't remember. So he went, okay. So you don't know St James's? Name me all the clubs down Power Mall in the. Um, down St James's Street in the correct order and I'm like ah oh, what and it was just and that's I just fell to pieces after yeah, that you know yeah. I don't know that's you a, know and then he asked me Chisinau yeah, School yeah. or Chisinau Museum because I didn't live far from Chisinau Road mm. I lived on the Roman Road so but that was just about but I didn't know Chisinau Museum right uh, he's asked me areas around mine and he's asked me around um Church is it Churchill Crescent near uh, Victoria Park? It's a bit unfair to be yeah. tested on your results oh, when it first. Yeah, yeah, on his yeah. first appearance, yeah. and oh, I'm yeah. like, really? But yeah, I knew that. I, I just knew that. Do you that. think that first appearance then set you up for the rest? You was like, do you know what? It can't get no worse than that. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, and then when I went in, obviously I had um, other other examiners, Mr. Bradburn. I don't know if you remembered him. Um, and a few others, and like they give me appearances, which are my first appearances. Do you know what I mean? Points that yeah. should have been my first yeah, appearances. Yeah. yeah, police stations, proper yeah. points. Yeah. yeah, and then like I scored all the way through. Did so, you ever meet Orm again? No, no, I see him on the Because he left once. about. He left about then, didn't he? I, 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 you, he may have left during your knowledge yeah. life, but I once wondered if you. If no, you no, again. no, no, I didn't. No, I think I see him in a cab once and. I that think he left that day. That he had. Oh, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You were but intimidated. The funny, yeah, but the funny thing is, people, obviously word got around, right, that I was doing page three and I was doing the knowledge. I'd done page three and I was doing the knowledge, but because my name was ground, people didn't really. Yeah. Didn't and I weren't going in the boot tube and all that, so I weren't sure if they knew me or, or not, yeah, yeah. right? So, uh, yeah, so when I got my wreck, um, I, one of the... Um, examiners somehow got to know that it was me and I give him a picture and apparently the picture was up for quite a while no way what was his name I can't bloody remember his name now but my picture was up on the wall obviously not a page three one <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you did appear you did appear in a page three on your bike I did yeah, I well, did I, I think it was, it was in the appear. star yeah, yeah doing yeah. me knowledge and all yeah, that oh yeah. you were still doing page three when you was doing the knowledge no but I was known oh, as a okay. page three and girl I so I wasn't really said, doing it that said it could take 18 months of doing I'm sure that you know the little bit right the, right a little bit long and I thought that's quick right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. no it took me three years three yeah, months yeah. so instantly you was thinking she was going up in a boob tube well, uh, yeah, 18 months uh, thinking, yeah, yeah without a doubt yeah, yeah, what, yeah. what took you well I, I've got that all the time obviously being at the knowledge that, school yeah. no uh, up, being in the knowledge school and all that and I loved my, my mates and I'm still friends well, I haven't spoke to some of them for a while but um, you know and they weren't scoring but they was out of a weekend. I weren't out of a yeah, weekend. Yes. I was on my bike. I used to work the Roman Road sat a Thursday and a Saturday. Yeah. Every other day, I would be out on my bike. I'd be up in the morning, doing 50, calling over 50 runs, going out on my bike from 10 till, say, 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, go out to the knowledge school, call over, go home. And that, and like, if I was on a holiday, I would literally call over. You know, and so people, yeah. So, so obviously because I don't, I done well. Yeah, and you uh, also had the extra part. Oh, listen, 
I'm not yeah. getting through it anything other than yeah, hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it did, it kind of upset me sometimes because people did think, oh, you've only done it because you're a woman or... But, and obviously because of what I was as well, hmm. what I'd done before, it was hard. And so I did feel like I needed to prove myself more yeah. because I got through on... And people go, bloody hell, that was an hard run or whatever, you know. So I did feel like I had to prove myself more because of that, I but I wasn't... Added pressure, to be honest. Yeah, like, it looks to me yeah like, absolutely. Like the knowledge is pressure on its own. We add that to it, the yeah. other side to it. There's not many lady cab drivers, is there? No. Would you know the percentage? Do you no, know I think... 500. Just so, over 500. Is that... No. Yeah, 500 lady cab drivers. Shut you wouldn't up. think so, would you? I would have no, thought there no. was a lot more now, because I thought that's... Yes. No, last year, about just over 500. 550, I thought, I thought that was about <clears> the same, because obviously I've got that question asked quite a lot, being a woman cab driver. And how many women cab drivers is there? That is like, you know. Um, we met I would some, have said we met some last week, didn't we? Um, we yeah, met yeah, Lawrence yeah. Fox, who was doing a, he's, he's touting to be the new mayor, and Sean invited some of the ladies along. Right, right, in. yeah. But we yeah. was invisible to the girls, because <laughs> yeah, yeah. they were just looking at, they were looking <laughs> at Lawrence <laughs> Fox. Right, yeah, yeah. Oh, so right. they didn't meet us. Right, we right, met them. yeah, yeah. Is there a girl code amongst female cab drivers? No. A girl nod? No. 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 Well, I mean, yes, but if, yeah, but no, no, no. I mean, to be honest, I was more friends with. I'm only friends with female cab driver, that friend cab drivers that I was friends with before the knowledge. Yeah, got yeah. I'm not friends with any yeah, any of the other girls. No, other. I was more I'm, friends with the blokes. I, I mean, even I love... 20 years ago was a different time. Mm. How was you treated by men cab drivers 20 years ago? Yeah, it yeah different. I mean, I remember going. Um, to the, you know, down at Heathrow, and uh, and I felt like I, I walked into the cafe and I felt like I had three heads. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I felt like I was Cyclops because Wasn't everyone your heads was though, looking. No, I know, no, <laughs> it weren't them two things you were looking at. No, but yeah, no, that's funny. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, I would get sort of not dressed up, dressed up, but I would sort of, you know, and I'd think, sod it. I'm going to walk in there, like, sometimes I would have felt a bit intimidated, but no, I thought, right, I'm going to walk through and they look, they look, whatever. The cafe, so it is hard. that's intimidating. Yeah, yeah that is intimidating. I think all of us walk in and yeah, think, yeah, oh, we don't yeah, belong yeah, here. Yeah, I know, I know. I've so that might fingers. be, yeah, but I do, that's one that stands, that I remember yeah. the most, but you know, and obviously, you get out a bit more some of them, things. like, some blokes are fine, and then others, like, give me, you know, and I go, hi. Because some of them do still get the ump because it's a woman cab driver. I know, what's they strange. do, they do, they still get the ump. That's just oh, oh, you know, like you know, I remember this bloke at um, Tottenham Court Road once. He looked and he shook his head in disgust. He went like that, and I went hi, you know, and I really sort of was playing it up for him, hello, and all that, and he just obviously got the ump more and drove And what more. about your passengers? Is it do you get questioned every time? As in what? Oh, like oh, you're, oh, it's a lady cab. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, know, yeah, that's yeah. Unusual. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, yeah. Most of the time it is sort of, you know. I mean, I suppose you guys get as it been out there yeah. and whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. You go on holiday, yeah. but me, it's like, yeah, it's not many women cab drivers. Yeah. And um. When you driving test, you get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I drive. Yeah, yeah. Don't bother. Yeah. With no, I don't party. actually. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, I did because I didn't actually it didn't sort of register what you said. But I um I no, but I don't really get. I mean, my boyfriend's a cab driver, yeah. and he's like, oh, this person had a go. But I don't really get that, and I think because they don't like to have a go at a woman. Yeah, I'll do you know what I right. mean? Do you? Because earn... I don't really, unless I'm a blinding cab driver and I go as straight as the crow flies and whatever and I miss all the traffic do you know what I mean but he's like oh somebody had a go at me and I'm like well I don't I have had sometimes but not yeah. that much but do you earn more than him because I live with a lady cab driver right. and she always came home with more money right than I did. okay always. well he never tells me oh, it's a bad day oh, oh, it's, it's a bad day right. always a bad day yeah, yeah it's, it's a terrible let me give do you know advice. what it will yeah. tell me when he's had a bad day it will never tell me when it's been a good day no. yeah. well, let right. me give some advice to any knowledge right. boys out there when you get out and your <laughs> missus says how was it it was all right. Never better than <laughs> this. That's it. Yeah, That's yeah. a true story. And it must be nice you come home and neither of you want to talk to each other. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm done he, talking. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I haven't worked. Well, I haven't worked for a year, but he's been out and all that, and he's, you know, he's got um, one of these Fandango's electric cabs and yeah. all that. Yeah, so, he's one of the chaps. Yeah. Oh, it is a lovely. We're cab. looking after the environment. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, my cab went off the road and um, a year early mm. than what I thought. And then obviously when I bought it, it was 15 years. Sorry, Doug. No, no, no. So when I, um, yeah, so no, what was he saying? Right, so I had, because I, I've got my daughter now, she's mm-hmm. um, nine years of age. So I had her when I was quite old. And um, she was like IVF, five goes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so wow. um, not that like many that. men That's might good, be interested. But anyway, I used to drive past St. Bart's and these little things called embryos were in St. Bart's in the freezer. So when I used to get a job, I used to think my little, my little embryos are in there. Not that you'd probably <laughs> want to know about <laughs> it, guys. Did you know, Hey, no, 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 no visiting times, no <laughs> visiting times in the freezer. So I she's my little. I say we got my daughter from Iceland because she was de- she was <laughs> yeah. defrosted. This I, I and know people have gone through that and how yeah. tough that. Yeah, and she's that a cockney because her embryos are in the sand. Yeah, of the yeah. Hills, yeah. exactly. Right, oh, man. she's a true cockney. True cockney, she? yeah. Not like me, oh, like right. the old, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm a cockney, yeah, but I was really I mean, five yeah. times is quite a lot. Yeah, isn't it? It was. It was. That's it was expensive thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But saying it's expensive. The good thing when I was in Bethnal Green, I had like three goes on um, the NHS. Oh, that's so good. I'm very grateful. And if it wasn't for the NHS, I wouldn't have my daughter because I wouldn't have been able to afford it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I've got a. Is that all that they allow? Uh, three? Well, yeah, that was a lot. I mean, normally they allow one, and it depends on. It's like the postcode lottery. If I lived here, I probably would have only had one. But yeah, at the time, yeah. I lived there. So yeah. yeah so, so a lot that goes into it, you can't have values yeah, on the record because yeah. it's it's all to do with funding. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was well. quite quite lucky. Oh, well, I was very lucky. Sometimes I say unlucky because she's so like me. She's a little cow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's very <laughs> mad. Well, do you still enjoy cab driving, Don? Uh, pandemic aside. Yes, pandemic aside. You think you get back? Yeah. Later? I will, I will, yeah, but I've got my photography, Yeah. so I was doing okay with that um, before the pandemic, um, so it's just not, and that's why i actually done the knowledge, because I could sort of, you yeah, know. Absolutely, we touched it, on it so many times, yeah. it's a great part time. Yeah, so. of course, it's, you know, um, and yeah, I did, I did enjoy it. Is there anything you're not going to miss? Eh? Anything you're not going to miss about cab driving, like? When you uh, you get flagged down and then you're pulling across and the passenger decides to run out in the oh, motel yeah, and he yeah, leaves you at a 45 yeah. degree oh, angle. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Oh, you know when? Um, oh God, no. I just always check if the bus is behind me now because you like you stop, oh. don't you? But they the bloody put their hand out for a bus and yeah. you're sitting yeah. there and oh, you think, so ah, yeah. my God. No, I didn't really stop you. I was just on the phone. No, I had yesterday. You know, it was really that is weird. So... And then went up, right? I know, believe it or not, I've got a job. I pulled over Shut and up. they run out in the road and got in the other side. No. <laughs> but that was quite like, what? Oh, what? my God. What is your point? Don't to, like, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Matters. I had yeah. someone open the passenger door and sit in the bin. <laughs> they sat there. They sat there on the floor. Like, what do you really think that's where you've got to be? No. I just sat so there. No, yeah. No. I know we do get some of them. One thing about these electric cabs, which your partner would sell you, is the light looks like it's always on. Right. Oh, right. I had okay. A, absolutely. I had a passenger, and he, he called me. I can't say the word, no. but he reminds me of Banker. Oh, no. Because I drove past him. Oh, God. Yeah. Bloody hell. That's a design wow. for them, isn't it? Yeah. That, I think that's one thing they've got they've to rectify. They've got to change. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friend got held in... um. Old Compton Street, and the man said, "I just want to give you a kiss." <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? story, yeah. yeah. Oh. So he said, he told, he said, "We had to charge him the the, the, the flag." Yeah. Oh, I, I, I always fly for high on Old Compton. Street. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I bet you do. Imagine that. I just want to give you a kiss. I got pulled over once to give a review on Japanese restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> Honest, and then after it. She went, "All right, thank you." Yeah, and oh, and it, that's terrible, isn't it? Oh, they don't really. realise, do they? No. You ever been held? And can you charge my phone? <laughs> charge your phone no, no and I was held once and asked where can I dock this Boris bike oh yeah, oh, yeah. No. Man, I've got to tell you that yeah. oh, I, know. I had one lady it's... once she flagged me down she had a job interview but she was 15 minutes early she got me a drive around the block so she could do her makeup no <laughs> bloody <laughs> hell so his little makeup studio yeah, oh, there no, you go no, so. no, it works out with yeah, yeah. Yeah. speed bumps <laughs> yeah <laughs> why it's been great chatting so yeah. far right so at the end of all our sort of interviews we play a little game 
Now I'm not going to say. You didn't tell me about this. No, Jay. It's, it's a. It's called Are You a Classy Cabbie? Right. Or Are You a Dirty Dog? Oh, now, good. Yeah. Right, I so, know what one I am. So <laughs> what we do is we ask you a series of questions right. and we like you to open them, uh, answer them open and honestly. Yeah, and I it's will. Just a bit I'm of always fun. honest. We know you're a classy yeah. lady, so we got no risk of you being the other. Right. So what we want to know: Have you ever broomed a job from on point? No. No. no, I haven't. Have you ever done that thing when they come out and they only want to go a short distance and you get the ump and drive off? And no, the no, 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 no. I've had a few people do that to me. And, and there was one bloke at London Bridge and he's like made out that literally like his cab broke down. Yeah. Right. And I've looked in the rear view mirror and he's put his bonnet up and got a job and gone. That's the worst. You know, thing. and I just think, I know there's obviously, but, but no, I was I wouldn't do that. Yeah, no, I'm I wouldn't. You. That's a very good answer. Right. Do you talk on the phone with a passenger on board? Not anymore. Not for the past year. <laughs> That's a um, I, I think it's obviously... got to be a bigger problem with the ladies. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean. Have you ever done a fair where you weren't talking on the phone? <laughs> oh right, get out of it. I'm not. Oh, what so do you I see over there, right? Eh? All right. Have you uh, have you ever kicked out a fair because you've seen a salon at your favourite shop? Oh God. <laughs> That's a yeah, that's a that's a good one. No, I haven't. I, I should lie, really, but no, 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 no I haven't. Do you do that thing you park, get there early, park up? Yeah, the yeah, the yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, of course I do, especially yeah. at Christmas. Do you ever go down New Bond Street? Bloody hell! And, uh, look at look at uh, Anne Summers ago. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, the me. Victoria's Secret, isn't it? It's funny yeah, how all the cab drivers stop at them lights. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, you've got the lights there, and they've got all the videos there. He's always, he's always, I always see him there. Yeah, yeah. So where are you, Victoria? Them lights at Victoria's Secret. Yeah, I have pointed out times. Yeah, yeah. He, he um, yeah. painted the rank there. Oh yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, have you ever turned up the radio? To prevent a passenger talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? He They're can't handle me, comments yeah? like that, Mark. He's he, like, he he all embarrassed, he doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> I love how he's brought his notes because he, he's really done a lot of prep for you. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I watched sure, every video. Me and Sean, oh, shut yeah, up. Me and Sean, did. nothing. Look, we come here. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's all prepared. He wasn't interested in listening. He wasn't interested in you listening listening to you sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just wanted to look at the pictures. Yeah, yeah. That's what. I'm gonna take from this. Yeah. The, the, the Germans. Oh, I know. I've seen yeah. that. I know. I know. Wait. Roll out the barrel. I'd have been fine. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. yeah. Knees up, mother. Yeah. Knees up, mother. Roll out the barrel. Yeah, and all that. I'd have been fine. Yeah. yeah. Rabbit can, run. What? Um. I think we we skipped past it. Uh, to get off the cab driving, we've had a lot of fun mm. with that. What advice would you give to any young girls going into your former industry or into the cab industry? Um. Right, the former industry, get a reputable agency, make sure that every photo, especially now with with all of the social media, mm. every photo has got a watermark on it, um, so that you know where it's come from you or whatever photographer it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, you get a reputable agency. But to be honest, I'm not being funny, with social media now, Everyone wants to be a star, right? Yeah. So everyone, I don't think there is any agencies that do it glamour anymore. Is it a, is it it's a game It's completely changed, changed yeah, yeah. Because most people do it it's Instagram walking and down that, the street, do you know what I mean? Yourself, so yeah. they don't, you know, I mean, it's only really fashion modelling, I suppose, but it's completely changed. So your main advice would be go with a reputable agent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go with a reputable agent. And if you're going to do any kind of glamour pictures, just make sure that the model release form is signed when you do it and make sure you're over that age and never get intimidated by anyone. Yeah. I was really intimidated and that's not, not good. You were too young, weren't you? Yeah, still, yeah. Right. I'm still young now. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and there's a, there's a, a question then. So what did you feel when they um, stopped page three? Was it, was it, that was quite recent, wasn't uh, it? Yeah. Um, you surprised? Was I surprised? No, it's kind of moving the times, yeah. really, isn't it? 100%. Yeah, it was a bit slap joke, tickle and all that, you know, and all that. Um, do you think it's a shame or do you think it's timely? Um, because of social media, I think it's timely because mm. it's there any, it, you know. If you want it. So yeah, if you want it. Phone, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So it's not going to, you know, I think it's just sort of moved with the times, really. It was a bit, yeah. 
We were it's probably Gary a bit there, cheesy. It was a page seven fella. We never knew. Oh, God, there yeah. It's a page seven fella. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't you know that? Oh, wow. There's this read guy a called John years. Huntley. He's lovely. Yeah, we're hoping to yeah. interview him. Yeah, interview him, but he's <laughs> not a cab driver. He's always been ringing yeah. him up a week. Yeah, yeah. The only he's trying way to get him to The only way we could get Sean here today was to say there was a page seven fella. Page seven fella, yeah. So, well, my bloke thinks he's a bit of one anyway. Oh, yeah. I could be page seven, eight, and nine. No, he's all right, yeah. But Gary didn't know him. Oh, wow, all yeah, the notes, page all the notes seven wrote down and didn't have it on there. Yeah, I see, that's idea. terrible. You wouldn't be able to pass that nowadays, would I'd have, you? No, I'd have to take all your equal opportunities it. and all that, yeah, you yeah, know what no, I mean? No, I'm Do so. you think about, you yeah. was buying a national newspaper, page three was a naked girl, page seven a naked man. Mm. Where, where was yeah. this man? You ain't even got the yeah. news yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. I know the news, so though. West Ham would have lost on the back page. Yeah. The sun is not news. No, it isn't. No, exactly. There's no news in there. No, Freddie no, Star no. at my hamster. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Oh, Freddie Star. Oh, he was a. Nevertheless, great, all yeah. other newspapers wanted to. Did I on worked the with him? Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he was stuff. very as he was there. He just didn't surprise didn't like you then him. when he got caught up in all this. Uh, this, 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 no one ever saw the stars. Were yeah, out. no, he, he no, like he quite, was like yeah. Very lefty. But because I wouldn't have it, he didn't like me because I wouldn't. I like that in that world. Yeah, and I bloody worked with what's his name as well. That. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what's, what's his name? The flipping <laughs> one <laughs> with the black oh, hair. No, Shovel Road. With the black <laughs> hair. What's his name? Fred West. No, you don't. No. He was a singer in the 70s. In the 70s? And he was yeah, Gary Glitter. Yeah, Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter. Gary Glitter. I had a job with him and he opened his sandwich shop down in Bloomington. You were too old for him, Don. No, but, I, but the thing yeah, is, I mean, he didn't like me either because yeah. I had my platforms on, right? And I was taller than him. Because yeah, I'm five old, foot nine and he, he didn't like me overpowering him. He sandwich store just outside the score, didn't he? Yeah, oh, get out of it. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's his sweet shop. Oh, are they easy to see all the boots over there? It's <laughs> off I'm looking what? and all. No, that's me boyfriend. We've got, uh, we got to wrap this yeah, up. Yeah, we've got to wrap this up. Oh, we just got on the Jimmy Savile. We can't. I know, I know. But not Jimmy Savile. Not Jimmy Savile. No, they're one of the same. Oh, yeah. Before oh. we go, Don, is there anything you want about your photographer, anything you want to tell uh, people about that's going on? Uh, yeah, I've got a studio here in Hornchurch, which we have been um, using, but it's been closed down for a year. But I do lots of family photography. And if you want photographs for your children, um, family stuff. I mean, here, where can they find in you? In Church. I'm on Instagram and Facebook, um, and it's called Cockney Rebel. Cockney Rebel. Brilliant. And I can say, we're in the Cockney studio now, Rebel. and it's fantastic. fantastic. Well, it's very theatrical, isn't it? There's yeah. There's ball gowns and glittery yes, stuff. It's course, fantastic, isn't of it? Of course, great. yeah. But don't go home with them, will no, you? No, I'll do my, I'll do my <laughs> best. I've Look. seen one in your yeah, back pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 a few on. Yeah, pop it into them. Anyway, you've been listening to Donna. We got two for the price of one there, didn't we? Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, he's on the very good. Uh, if you fancy having a go, then get in touch. You can email us at newcabclass at gmail.com. I'm sitting here with a couple of page seven fellas. And, and so I'm, I'm, in, I'm really happy. Anyway, get in touch and have a good week. Till next week. Oh, blinding. How is that, Tom? Oh, brilliant. Oh, I had like, yeah. so much more to say. I know, I know. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, but we've had so much.